Calligraphy is practiced world over in almost all written languages, but the art holds a special place in Islamic culture. For centuries, it has been used to write the verses of the Quran and other religious texts to adorn the walls of our living rooms, monuments, and mosques. And from Ottoman times till now, Istanbul and Turkey have surpassed its peers. Well, Islamic calligraphy isn't just an ancient form of art, but one that keeps evolving. Joining me now from London is calligraphist Soraya Syed. She has previously worked for the British Museum and Saudi royal family and is perhaps the perfect example of an artist who has utilized various forms of technology in creating Islamic calligraphy. Thank you so much for joining me today, Soraya. Now, in your works, you use you. new technologies, but at the same time, you make sure to incorporate classical techniques. Uh, is your approach an evolution of ancient forms of writing Arabic scriptures? Well, I think that new technology um, has always come to the art of Islamic calligraphy. For the first three centuries of Islam, for example, calligraphers were writing on parchment, which is animal skin. But with the introduction of paper, this totally transformed the possibilities for the calligraphers because they could now write uh, the Qurans were then made in a vertical format and because the paper was less expensive than parchment they they had a lot more freedom so I would say for example that paper is almost the first new technology within Islamic calligraphy so what I do I just see it as an evolution if you like of that past so tell me about some of the newest technology uh, that you use in your works? Well, I've been experimenting um, using animation to sort of bring my calligraphy off the paper and um, for it to tell, tell a story. But I've also used holographic techniques to make the work even three-dimensional and more recently working with Google um, and using their tilt brush technology, which was a lot of fun and quite a new experience for me because it meant that I could make the letters quite sculptural and also size when it wasn't an issue so they could become architectural as well and I could walk in and out of the letters which was quite uh, a unique experience. Mm -hmm. Now um, you actually took this new method of creating calligraphy with this, these different technologies to one of your teachers here in Istanbul Iftaruddin Kalic and showed him what you created with it uh, how did he react to the outcome? <laughs> well, um, it's the first time, I guess, for me to bring something uh, digital to my hoja because my teacher, I mean, he's used to correcting my mesh or my practice work, which is ink on paper. Um, so this was a chance for him to look at my work in virtual reality. And uh, I think he was quite um, impressed by the overall experience. But uh, we both understood that this was a tool that wasn't a calligraphy tool, not just yet anyway. It's still quite early days for uh, VR in that sense. Um, but it, it was uh, yeah, a very interesting exchange. And he managed to do his own work within that virtual reality space too alongside mine so that was quite interesting to see a new experience for everyone now speaking of your hoja or as we say in turkish your teacher uh, you said before that a relationship between a calligraphy student and his or her master is one that will stick with you your whole life tell me about what that bond is like well, when you train um, in the classical form of Islamic calligraphy, your training culminates in the ijazat name or a calligraphy license. Um, and that basically gives you permission to sign your own work and to take on your own uh, students and pass on the knowledge which you have inherited. And you become part of what is called a silsila or a chain of calligraphers. And that means that you become essentially part of a family tree of calligraphers. And so that bond is always there between you and your teacher. And it goes back uh, many, many uh, generations and centuries. All right, Soraya, unfortunately, that's all the time we have left.
but thank you so much for giving us that insight on the art of calligraphy. Thank you.